everyone and welcome to another recording. Uh, so in this recording I thought I'd share with you a quote uh, to help inspire you uh, through the rest of your studies. So this quote is actually from uh, an excerpt of The Little Gidding by T.S. Eliot. Uh, Little Gidding is a town outside of London and uh, Eliot wrote this, uh, this poem uh, during uh, 1941, during, uh, you know, the height of, of course, World War II. And so the picture here on the screen is an image of the chapel there in Little Gidding. Uh, the excerpt that I'm going to share with you begins, We will not cease uh, from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. So this poem is about uh, progression, change, um, and learning from the past. The whole poem uh, is about this process of, of retribution and uh, formation and progression as we travel through time. And so T.S. Eliot in this uh, poem proposes that all of human suffering comes from a misunderstanding about the nature of who we are and our purpose in life. He says that our purpose in life is to love one another. Uh, so imagine writing this poem about the need to love each other and the need to progress as you see your uh, major metropolitan area bombed in World War II. He was probably watching the planes fly overhead from Germany as they proceeded uh, to bomb London and the uh, suburbs of London. But uh, throughout all of this, the, the pre pre prevailing thought uh, of T.S. Eliot was that uh, throughout history, these cycles of warfare and strife and unrest that we go through are caused only because we, uh, we um, give up, we, we, we stop trying to love each other. We fail to live up to the expectations of our history and our uh, human nature, which is to love and care for each other. And he says the only solution to this is to learn from the past so that that past can inform our present and guide our future. And I believe this is true also from an evolutionary perspective. We as humans evolved as a very social species with an innate drive to help each other and an innate capacity for altruistic acts in which we uh, willingly give of ourselves uh, often without thought or often uh, under extreme consequences in order to help somebody else uh, that we may not even know. There are numerous examples of this throughout history and throughout daily life. Uh, this also speaks to the process you're going through as students. You have chosen to take up a career in which your primary purpose is to help other people, to help heal people, to help bring them back into wholeness. And you can't do this by ignoring the, the patient's past. You can't do it by pretending that uh, their, their deficits and their issues and their physical traits and problems aren't uh, present. What you have to do as a physical therapist, as a clinician, is uh, to teach these people and train these individuals how they can use their past and progress past it in the present time so that their future might be better. You are, uh, at, at the core, you are giving these individuals hope about what their future will be like. And so uh, through this process, becoming these clinicians that you hope to one day be is also a process of transitioning from the past, uh, learning from the present, and being hopeful of the future. So as you continue to your studies, know that there will always be strife and struggles. There will be times when it's difficult, but we always have to keep in mind the progress that we're making toward a goal. 
So our world is constantly in a state of change and that will always be the case. And it's our job to make sure that change is in a positive direction. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy the rest of the lectures.